The Queen's Band has been an integral part of Queen's football, Queen's culture, and Queen's tradition for decades. Today, we're going to chat with members of the band and find out what happens behind the scenes in making a band. Let's go. And good afternoon and welcome to Richardson Stadium in Kingston, Ontario. Welcome to another episode of the student section. I am Kwame Ose. He is the living legend, head coach, Steve Snyder. And today, we are joined by three members of the Queen's Band. We got Julia over here. We got my man Gus over here. And we got Devin over there with the pop poms. Welcome to Swim Session. Thanks for having us. We're so happy to be here. We're excited. So I got seats, the student section. Yes, there we go. Yeah, well, it was. Hopefully, we'll be back on the field soon. Yeah. Cheering I think that's the plan, right? From so, first question. Last home game was our first game with students mm -hmm. in attendance. And your band mm -hmm. was on the field, right? Mm -hmm. Great crowd, seats filled. Please tell me what it was like to be on the field in that atmosphere. Amazing. It was. First of all, it was amazing. There were some little kids just over by our section and they were trying to start the wave mm -hmm. and they were doing the cheers with us. Yeah. And every time we would start another cheer, they'd you know, take a little bit to catch up with us, but yeah. then they'd get it, and it was so fun to have that energy back in the stands. Yeah, it was incredible. Just the amount, like, it was it was literally ecstatic. People were so excited to be here, especially after, like, so long away that it was so nice to just see everyone come together in school spirit. It was awesome. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Our team actually fed off the energy, which was amazing, oh, and that's kind yeah. of what it's all about. So. I think it goes both ways. Yeah. Like, as much as we fed off their energy, they feed off of ours. It yeah. goes, it's amazing. Yeah, I think it helps to fast start scoring touchdowns yeah. early. It helps oh, yeah. you guys out a little bit, too. Yeah. I feel like some, some schools have games, some schools have events, mm -hmm. and then some schools create an experience. Yeah. What do you think the band's role is in creating the experience? Well, Queens loves the bands. We're at so many events throughout the year, not just football games, that it really helps create the environment of like feeding, feeding throughout the year and keeping up like the school spirit throughout the year. Yeah. Absolutely. And it's a really important factor in that. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. really like unifying. Like everybody knows the tunes, like everybody knows the Orthai and when you like get it going and then you get the whole stadium going and like in the football team as well, it's it's insane. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And our role is kind of to just like facilitate all that tradition that we've had at Queens for so long. Like all the songs, all the dances. Um, it makes it fun not only for students now but also for alumni who come back and see the games because it's really a big deal for yeah. them too. Yeah, absolutely. Because Queens fans is so old. Yeah. Like it's 1901, so 1905. Yeah. 1905. We're, like the oldest student band band mm -hmm. in Canada or something yeah. and we're the largest student run band in Canada. The most hyped too. The most oh, yeah. amazing Everyone plays band. Baby, well <laughs> yeah. How many members are part of your team? We have 107 this year which is one just of the like biggest we've had team. in a couple yeah. Yeah. Just like yeah. a football yeah. team. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and there's different sections. Break down the sections yeah. for us real quick. So we've got six sections. We've got color guard which spins the flags. We're right at the front um, and then we've got pipes. pipes. Yeah. Well, the, uh, yeah. the drum major, you got like... Yeah, yeah. you have drum major, which is like their own se separate section. Mm -hmm. And then we've got pipes, drums, brass, yeah. cheer, and uh, the Highland dancers. Mm -hmm. yeah. Dancers. Awesome. Love it. Yeah. So, I'm a new student at Queen's University. Let's just say I'm a new student at mm -hmm. Queen's University. And I want to be part of the band. How do I become part of the band? Take us through the process. So at the beginning of the year, we usually have recruitment. We participate in a lot of the frosh events, uh, like sidewalk sale and Queens in the Park. Um, we're actually part of the tricolor parade. Yeah, mm -hmm. the very first parade, like when all the frosh come in, yep. yeah. okay. to register mm -hmm. the very first time. So it's like the very Huge. first year is like is marching band mm -hmm. right yeah. in, like yeah. loud and like. So yeah. there's a lot of pressure <laughs> yeah. to make the great first impression. First for impressions, for the three. Yeah, yeah, this this is is awesome. that's right. They can still leave and not come back. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we do some recruiting at the beginning of the year, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. and we have like an info session about, oh, so you want to be in Queen's bands? Yeah learn about information and then we have some auditions just like really to get a good a good idea of like what your vibes are yeah and then uh, you join the bands and then we start get started with events and practices and it's it's pretty great yeah. it's an awesome yeah. time mm -hmm. speaking of events i think the football the football games in canadian university and especially at queens are more than just a football game um, there are a lot of things but they're really a celebration and event 
And uh, I, I truly believe that kind of the heartbeat of that whole thing is the bands. And when the bands are parked up in the stadium, they're almost like the music to the party. Mm -hmm. You know, it's hard to have a party without music. Yeah. And, uh, and the band brings kind of that energy and it's really, you know, what I would encourage the students to do is not come to watch the game, but come to participate in the game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Be a part of it with your energy, yeah. your voice, feed off the band mm -hmm. and, uh, and try to make an impact, inspiring your team and maybe even, you know, rattling and distracting the opponent. Absolutely. <laughs> That's what we're best at. Yeah, and, you know, again, I think the bands is the heartbeat of all that, and um, just really glad to have you guys back, and we could feel that in the energy, that energy in the stadium last week made a huge difference. Yeah, we're mm -hmm. so glad to be back oh and my doing gosh. football games. It's last amazing. Last year, when we didn't have any football games, but we were here, it just didn't feel good. No. Mm -hmm. No, like we did that one football game and it does like a little like teaser. Tea yeah. <laughs> like, we knew that like, this year was gonna be like so much more it's and we're so title. excited. Like yeah. we have a lot of like banked up energy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just gonna let it out. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Traditions are important at a university. It kinda it can connect people, mm -hmm. you know, and it can actually build memories that are worth hanging on to, you know. And um, at Queens, football games for over a hundred years have been one of the core fundamentals of school spirit. Mm -hmm. And that's not just the players on the field, it's you guys as well. So I would definitely encourage the students to uh, to just enjoy that. Come out and do all those little things, you know, the cheering and the oil thigh and just enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. And that, that's the key word right there, tradition. Because on social media, I've been seeing everywhere. Tradition is back at Queens. Oh, tradition yeah. is back at Time. Queens. And at the beginning of the game, when you all were on the field, I was kind of filming. And I was beside members of the 92 team. And they had a little tunnel going and one guy, had his camera out and he was just filming everything you were doing. And I looked at him, he's just like, this is what I'm here for. Yeah. <laughs> so, just yeah. to let you know. Yes, that's right, mm -hmm. that's right. Yeah. But you have the head coach of the men's football team here. Oh yeah. And I always say, it's, it's, all, it's a privilege to have a conversation with him. Do you have any questions for him? Um, okay, what is your absolute number one most favorite thing about football? That's a great question. <laughs> uh, I'll start with this. You know, football for me is more than just a game. It really is. It's kind of a way of life. And uh, it's certainly helped me navigate my way through the world for since I was 13 years old. And uh, it's helped me build relationships. It's taught me how to treat people. Uh, it's taught me how to believe in myself and just work my way through the world. It's literally take, taken me across the globe. And I even met my wife through the game of football when I was playing overseas. So yeah, it's, it's everything to me. And um, that's my thing. I, you know, I don't know if I can put one thing on it uh, that's my favorite thing but well if I did I would just say the way it brings people together I think is the most important thing and not just your team but it actually can bring entire communities together mm -hmm. and you see that all across North America and you know, one thing that's passionate I'm passionate about is getting that at Queens where Queens football is the vehicle that brings people together maybe more so than any other force in our community. Well said. What do you think is the most challenging part of coaching football? Football would be easy if it was just the same all the time and everybody had the same energy and the same mood mm -hmm. and everybody was just able to come and do their job correctly. But that's, it's, it's, it, football's a game of humans. That's not yeah. the way it is. Mm -hmm. So again, I think it would be easy if there was just a template that you roll out and you just wake up every, but every day and everybody follows it like a robot, but that's not the case at all. The best part of it is bringing people together and it is the humans, but it's actually the most challenging part as well. It's just that mm -hmm. people feel different on different days, you know, and people get hurt and you name it. And then you add the opponent on top of the fact that they got a bunch of humans as well. And it's like, they're, so it's competitive and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, that's the challenge, but. Yeah, I got, I got one yep. last. Uh, what's like your all time favorite memory as coach of the Queens football team? Oh yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, you know what, honestly, I think it was last game yeah. because that's kind of what I was, you know, waiting for. And when I got here in 2019, you know, we weren't as strong of a team and we hadn't built the relation. I, we were just new here, me and coach, and we hadn't built the relationships in, on campus to the same extent. And, uh, and then when the pandemic hit, we didn't really get much in 2020 and 2021 was really limited. Last Saturday evening was, that was what Queens football is to me. And, um, that was the memory, so far that was the most electric memory I've had and what I've been thinking about the most to be honest. So it's been, yeah, it last game. It was the energy of fill, filling the stadium, filling the stadium for the first time since yeah, I've been here. For the first of any. Yeah, yeah, yeah it feels exactly. Good to yeah. Win that. yeah, it does. And start fast too. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. speaking of last game, at the end of last game, our players, the band, were one 
doing the oil five. Oh my god. Probably my that. Mind. And that this this this, this is a this is a song and a dance we want everybody in Kingston, all the Queen students and students and uh, students and students athletes, student athletes to know. So with having uh, the band here, it's only right. The pros. <laughs> it's only right. It's only right. You do the oil five. Okay. Look out for the next episode of the student section. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and follow Queens Football.